thousand people killed in the U.S. in 2015 by firearms, and over 26,000 were injured. We have seen carnage in our streets and in our schools, and yet we have not seen a single piece of gun safety reform coming out of the United States Congress, even in the wake of tragedy after tragedy. How will your administration do what no other president in recent memory has been able to do, and that is pass comprehensive, common sense gun safety reform? Thank you for that excellent question. Let me begin by saying I come from a rural state that has virtually no gun control at all. Yet I have managed to earn the, for better or worse, a D minus voting record from the NRA. 1988, I ran for Vermont's one seat in Congress. I was running as an independent against the Democrat and Republican. I ended up losing by three points, Republican won. I came out in that election and saying, you know what, I don't think it's a good idea in America that we should be selling military style assault weapons, which have nothing to do with hunting, only designed to kill people. I was opposed by all the gun groups, ended up losing that election by three points. I believe that President Obama is absolutely right. When he said a number of months ago, I think it was after the shooting in Oregon, I know the president fairly well. You know, he usually doesn't get very emotional. Uh, but he was upset after that shooting. And what he said is, look, we got a really serious problem and nobody can guarantee you a simple answer. We don't know what we saw in Charleston, South Carolina, some sick person walking into a church. No one can tell you that you can stop all of that stuff. A lot of sick people out there. But we have got to do the best that we can do. And that we can do. But what does that mean? Now, for a start, I believe I am at an advantage coming from a rural state that has no gun control. Because I can speak to a wide swath of America who come from states like that. And here is the truth. There is a division in this country on gun control. You know that. Everybody knows that. But by and large, even gun owners, in fact, the vast majority of gun owners, understand that people with criminal records People who are mentally unstable should not be able to purchase guns. All right? So we have to expand and improve the instant background check to make sure that people who should not have guns do not have guns. Right now you have what is called the gun show loophole. And what that means, you can go to a gun show, you can buy guns from an unregistered gun dealer, you can buy those guns and you can avoid the instant background check. That's what the president is trying to deal with. He's right. That is a wide open loophole for people who should not be having guns, getting guns. There's another provision out there. It's called the straw man situation. You walk into a gun store and you legally buy guns. You pass the instant background check. You go out and you sell those guns to a criminal. That should be violation of federal law. We should have federal law to prevent that. 